A Rod took full advantage of the Emperor's Club when it was operating. Okay. This is the same hooker club that that Elliot Spitzer was involved. Yes, in, right? uh, same hooker club that uh, Ashley Dupre came from. Big controversy because. The madam of the Emperor's Club, Kristen Davis, has come out and said that she had mild flirtation with A-Rod and hooked him up with half a dozen hookers. Mm. Okay. Okay, while he was married. And apparently A-Rod really, really, really wanted to date Kristen Davis, but she wasn't into it. Um, I have actual transcripts of their conversation. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Alex Rodriguez says to her, Thanks for setting me up with Samantha. She was gorgeous. But she's not you. What can I do to see you? You're gorgeous. And then uh, Kristen Davis says, Hi, Alex. You don't want to see me. I'm no fun. Just because you're so sweet, here are some pictures of me, and I appreciate the compliments. You're a doll. Okay. All right. So he's trying to see her. By the way, that picture you just saw, of course, was of his uh, ex-wife. Right. And uh, she's playing him off. Okay. So let's continue. Alex Rodriguez responds and says, you've been playing hard to get for a year now. You're killing me. Right. She writes back saying, it's not playing. I am hard to get. Maybe you should try harder. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, go and uh, pay for more of my hookers. Right. And sleep with Madonna. Uh, and then he, Alex Rodriguez says, Kristen, I definitely will, and I love the pics, but uh, I put one of them on my cell phone so I can look at you all the time. Yeah, stay classy, San Diego. Yeah, that's, by the way, that's real smart thinking. Put a, the picture of a madam on your text, on your cell phone. Of course. So that your wife can find it. Yeah, classy. Davis writes back saying, you're too sweet. I'll let you know when I can get someone you like. See? Offering up another hook. Right. She's milking this guy for all his. And you know what? You got to give her credit, man. Here is a guy worth hundreds of millions of dollars trying to get with her. And she's like, no, nah, that's not what I do. I'm a madam. I hook you up with prostitutes. And I'm going to continue to do that. It's funny. You know what? That's, pr that's principle, man. I mean, it's, it's funny and weird. But as a matter of like working your job, she's committed to her job. Definitely. In fact, um, Alex Rodriguez and Kristen Davis met each other in a gym in Philadelphia. And A-Rod approached her and said, you know, how about we have some dinner or something, right? And what she did is she gave him his, her card and mm -hmm. said, uh, I have a boyfriend, but I can hook you up with someone I know you'll like. So she, he hooks up with one of the prostitutes, and he gets hooked uh -huh. and continues coming back half a dozen times and sleeping with the hookers. Well, look, think about it this way, right? At first, you got, you got to be thinking, what the hell is A-Rod going to hookers for? I mean, he can get... Probably anybody if he wants if he goes out there. But if he does, the press is going to be all over it. Mm -hmm. This is discreet. And the money's a lot of money, right? This Emperor's Club thing is a couple thousand dollars a night, right? Right. For, for, for two hours. Mm -hmm. But for A Rod, a couple of thousand dollars is like you losing two pennies. Do you bother picking it up on the ground? Nah, probably not. He's like, yeah, a couple of thousand dollars. Yeah, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but the third way of looking at it is, man, I, I don't know. It made me feel better about myself. I'm like, look, A-Rod has to go to hookers. I don't have to go to hookers. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, he doesn't have to go to hookers, right. right? And I know the old adage, and it's very true, that Charlie Sheen said back in the day, he said, you don't pay hookers to come, you pay hookers to leave, <laughs> right? And I'm sure that's exactly what A-Rod was doing. But still, it's like that time that I left the club at the same time as uh, Rick Fox. And I thought, hey, look at that. Rick Fox didn't get laid. I didn't get laid. We're even. <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of that as I hear the story of A-Rod paying a lot of money for call girls. Right. You know, the thing is, I'm starting to feel sorry for the guy. I am. I, I want to pull him aside and be like, hey, listen, dummy, don't kiss the mirror. Don't go for hookers. And if you're going to get divorced for your wife anyway, then just get divorced and, and stop being an idiot. And you could have gotten really hot girls for the rest of your life without paying for it at all. And why are you in love with Madonna? Right. I mean, what kind of weird mental zone are you in?